used to love dual rectifiers. Uh, they are big and brash and created this huge wall of sound. Uh, and then, you know, this is for my opinion, yeah, you start pushing them too much with the screamers and stuff, and then they just become a faceless entity. Like, mm, does nothing for me. It's not doing that rectifier thing that when it came out, that's why it took over. But now I have found my favorite dual rectifier, and it is in here. Yes, the new Mesa Boogie Reference Amps Collection uh, for your IK Multimedia Tone X. If you don't know what that means, Tone X is software and hardware that plays back tone captures that you'll create with the Tone X capture process. Now, this is not a rectifier collection. I came multimedia with Doug West. He was the right hand Mesa boogeyman. You see him all the time in pictures with Randall Smith and stuff. He pulled four amps from the Mesa Boogie Vault, the reference collection, and one is the King Snake reissue that's the santana like mark one these are all captured with the cabinet so if you just want to drop it in you are good to go uh, they also did capture some without the cabinet so it's a uh, completely just pure amp i'll take you through some of the presets i used from my opening uh, like foo fighter meets incubus meets uh, all my other favorite 90s bands and uh then i'll show you some of the others some good tones in here gang uh let's go now, something to keep in mind with Tone X, there's this beautiful interface with the triple rectifier, and you are going to be tempted to get in there and be like, oh, let me set this to my old dual rectifier settings. That is not how this works. Each of the presets are tone captures, so it's like a capture in time. So when you see all of the knobs straight up and down, that does not mean the knobs were captured that way. It means like nothing has changed from its original capture. If you want more gain, you can get more gain. If you want a little more treble, a little more bass, it's very natural inside Tone X. In fact, I barely had to touch any of the, the EQs when I was doing that little opening track. Uh, if anything, I added like 0.5 treble and maybe took away 0.5 on the bass. That was it. If you want to change channels or if you want to get like a clean sound out of the rectifier, uh, you are kind of out of luck there because you're beholden to what was captured. So you have to go through the presets and find a cleanish capture. There weren't really, I couldn't find any clean rectifier captures. I, I know people don't buy that for clean, but I like the low gain and the, the clean sounds I thought have validity too. I'd love to see an update to that in the future. But, um, but to be fair, if you were gonna go cleans, you'd probably go and use any of the other Mesa amps that are captured in this. The first preset I saw was All My Fighters, and I was like, this has got to be the Foo Fighters, and it was. Doesn't disappoint. That is a great rectifier recording. It's big and huge, it has body, it's got all the stuff I'm looking for there. I thought this sunny rhythm was quite nice. Presets called 182 Things. Toolkit, which excited me very much. Spend the whole day writing tool songs. These Bones, another one that made me happy to see that kind of preset. So here's one where maybe my guitar is not pushing enough and I want more gain. So I'm gonna go over to the controls, scan, get a little more gain. Let's 
little less bass. Maybe like a tiny bit of treble, more mid. Sure, let's see that. Maybe a little tighter. And more. Let's just see what happens. Just fun. Let's check out some other amps. We've got a 2C Plus uh, named Luke's Boogie, which made me happy again. Again, I'm kind of running a little shy on the gain. Again, I'm running a little shy on the gain. Not too bad, though. Not too far off. Let's just goose it a little bit. What this... I know what this needs. Tonex can open inside Amplitube, so I'm taking that preset, taking the Tonex block, dropping it to Amplitube. Now, it's a separate purchase. You have to buy Amplitube. And then, of course, there's uh, in-app purchase kind of things where you can unlock, like the Full Tone Chorus or the Slash Pack that has this very nice booster in it. And then you can save the whole thing as a preset, and everything is good in the world. <laughs> Silky and soupy. Preset enter night. Uh, yes, please. Now again, you see the interface and you want to go, I just want to touch the stuff. But remember, you're using a snapshot. You can make adjustments from the snapshot on. So let's get a little brighter. Now over to a Mark IV. I mean, that sounds really good. These are great captures. You, you may not love every preset, but within there is an A plus capture. And then over to the King Snake.
be nice. Obviously, going from a Mesa 412 down to a 112 uh, is going to sound much smaller, but you could change the cabinets in here if you want. Uh, do this, go over here, switch over to a 412. So if you're not a fan of 112s, easy enough, I mean, with one button, a little bit of tweak to get some highs and lows out of the amp with that amp is amazing too. those king snakes. So um, it's there. Tweaking in the Tonex format is really natural, as I mentioned before. The tones are there. The captures are there. This is a killer pack. If you haven't checked out Tonex yet, the plugin or the hardware, you definitely should. There is so much good stuff you could cram into this. Uh, I have built many collections for this as well. You can find this in the ToneNet store. I did all of my old preamps. I captured them without the cabinet and you can just run that into a power amp and now you have a classic preamp or you could run it in the DAW and I created an IR that has the power amp and the cabinet sound in there. So if you just want to go off to the races, you can do that. Uh, but there's so much good stuff. Take these almost unattainable sounds and you can throw it in this incredibly light little pedal and you're rocking. So back to the Mesa Boogie Reference Amps collection. This thing, uh, I give it an A+. I think it's absolutely killer. If you've ever been a Mesa fan, whether that's the Boogie era or the Recto era or anything between, this is absolutely killer. I'll put some links below where you could find this stuff and uh, go play some guitar. Thanks for watching. See you.